Uh, you know, felt great. Um, you know, cool to do it when we really needed it, and um, you know, to be on Thanksgiving. Um, you know, I love scoring, so I appreciate every one of them. So. How badly did this team need a win, and did it also help to have this weekend off? Yeah, uh, you know, to. I think the last, um, you know, three games have come down to the wire, and and you know, guys have really been battling, um, you know, and and uh, so to to learn from those from those other close ones, and then to you know have another chance to to put a game away, and then have the guys go down, you know, 18 plays, and uh, to seal the game is uh, is the growth you want and the growth you want to see, and and uh, you know to do it on Thanksgiving, and um, then to go and have these days was big, you know, obviously playing. Uh, two games in four days is tough uh, on anybody, and um, you know, especially when you're as old as me. So um, uh, the weekend was great. Jimmy, no one ever, no, no player ever likes to think about getting to this stage in your career where you're getting. Yeah. You just brought up how old you are. You're kind of getting toward the end. Um, how do you process, given the height that you've played at for so long, a season like this where you're not getting the ball a lot, you're not playing a lot? How how are you? Like, how does that sit with you? How do you get through a season like that? Um, you know, I, I just focus on what I can control, and what I can control is, is you know, uh, how I affect um, the guys in my room, uh, the guys on offense, and 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 bring the juice uh, for the guys on defense. You know, I think that um, I'll always be a leader in that aspect. You know, uh, my ability to share the knowledge that I've been given to, to you know, um, pass it on to Cole and pass it on to our young guys, uh, pass it on to Moon, you know, um, Pass it on to a young quarterback, and and you know it's something that I take pride in. Uh, so I do take pride in a lot of that, and you know obviously, you know um, we kind of all come to that road, and and you know where where we got to prioritize some more things, you know. And so for me, you know I just I just live in the moment, and and you know try to be the player and leader that I am, um, you know with focusing on on my guys, and and, and you know I've always been uh, I've always been about winning. So you know that's, that's in the end that's all I've ever cared about, and and so just scratching and calling a uh, clawing to. You know, try to try to put some games together and 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 now focus on Arizona. The way that you winced when I asked you that, like I didn't mean the question to be oh, yeah, yeah. disrespectful yeah, in any way. It's but all good. <laughs> it's something that great players in every sport hit at some point. Yeah. In your thirties, you have to be able to reckon with mm -hmm. your physical skills not being what they were and your opportunity maybe not being what it was. Is it still enjoyable for you every day? Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, it's a true blessing to be. Um, you know, in this league for 12 years, um, you know, with that last touchdown, I, I, um, um, I heard I passed, uh, I passed Reggie Wayne for the all-time uh, touchdown leader for the University of Miami. So, um, you know, to me, that's that's you know, unbelievable. You know, to, you know, to to be a part of a legacy like that at the U, and and you know, to to you know, pass Reggie is is uh, unheard of. You know, for myself, you know, a guy who was, you know, playing basketball and was given an opportunity. And, uh, you know, I mean, I think I, I took the most of the opportunity. So, um, you know, I don't, I don't really reflect on a lot of those things because, you know, I just live game to game, day to day. Uh, you know, I think it'll be something that I reflect back on uh, once it's finally over for me. And uh, I can look back at, you know, all the people I played with, all the memories I had and all the games I, you know, helped win. So, you know, right now I just focus in on myself, my guys, and my body just make sure I'm available when my numbers call. You seem like you're reasonably comfortable, maybe not – enjoying or happy or whatever, but you seem comfortable with where you're at right now. You seem comfortable with the phase of your career that you're in and mentoring a guy like Cole. I mean, have you found parts of being the older guy in the room that you like that are that are fulfilling? Yeah. Um, especially when you got a especially when you got a room like I do. You know, when you got uh, uh, a young guy like Jesper, you know, you got JP Holtz, uh, Cole and Jesse James, you know, I think um, you know, we have such a special group, and, and then, you know, I have one of the best tight end coaches in the league uh, in Clancy. You know, he's, he's coached a lot of ball. Uh, he's won Super Bowls, and he's been around the block. So when you combine all those things in one room, you know, I think I think the one thing that this team and my guys have done is give complete effort each and every game on whatever is asked from us. You know, we all take pride in the run game, pass protection, and, you know, we all, you know, hold each other to a pretty high standard. You know, we... We've got a lot of experience in the room with me and Jesse, and you know we've got a lot of young guys who, you know, who have a bright future ahead of them. So you know to be a part of that, you know I remember the people that you know helped me get to where I'm at today. You know the Jeremy Shockeys, the David Thomases, um, the Daniel Graham. You know that I mean, 
uh, Ben. You know, it's it it goes on and on, and and uh, you know even even Marcus Colson. You know, he's a big part of that. Um, and so you know they they helped me out more than than anyone. You know, teaching me what I needed to learn, especially when I didn't even know the game. You know, um, you know I remember my first year in the NFL. You know, I was still trying to figure out what uh what outside edge meant. You know, outside edge of what. You know, um, so you know to. <laughs> To 12 years later, you know, be given so much advice on defenses, fronts, um, you know, especially coverages and 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 route running is, um, you know, I mean, I do take a lot of pride now. How do you think? How, how do you think you'll know when it's time for you to move on to something else? I mean, you're somebody that probably could do a lot of other things. Yeah. When when do, how do you think you'll feel that out, or what will you be your process be to? To figure out what's next for you in life. Yeah, uh, you know, I've I've set a lot of things up for myself, obviously, off the field, um, you know, with the flying and, and, you know, building homes and doing all kinds of business. But uh, for me, um, you know, I've been chasing the ring for a long time, you know, and, and uh, uh, actively chasing it, you know, from many decisions that I've made that were well less about money and more about the ring. So, yeah, I mean, I've been on some great teams, you know, and, and I've made runs and, and uh you know, so for me, I don't know if I'll ever be satisfied with it. it you know, if I'm not carrying, um, you know, some 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 type of hardware after all the work and after all the dedication. You know, I mean, I've given a lot. You know, for to get to the point that I'm at today. But um, you know, I don't know. You know, probably um, I'm I'm sure my body will let me know, and uh, you know, I'm sure the league will let me know because you know nobody want me on their team. <laughs> did, you, did you feel like you were chasing a ring coming here? Um, when you signed yeah um you know you got to look at what I you know um two years ago they they went on a run that's pretty special so so you know I got to see a lot of that you know and and to be a part of that and I know uh I know what wins games which is defense and special teams and a team dedicated on the ball and and you know I know we had some really good young backs and um so yeah I mean there's a lot of upside I mean you could say the same when when I made a decision to go to Green Bay you know um you know we struggled for two years on offense you know we fired Mike McCarthy my first year there and that was very difficult. So, um, you know, you just never know. Sometimes it's timing, and sometimes you know you gotta uh, pick and choose as you have. And 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 I have done that. But, you know, I, um, you know, I've I don't regret anything I've ever done or any decision I've ever made in this league. You know, I'm blessed to be here. You know, a part of this team, um, a part of these guys, and a part of uh, this franchise. You talked about learning the game and then playing basketball. I think you played what one year of college football. Six months. <laughs> what was your expectations for yourself when you entered the league? Were you just hoping to make the team? Did you want to become a perennial pro bowler? At what point did you realize that you have a chance at the Hall of Fame, basically? Um, you know, me, I just I just wanted to to give everything I had, and, and, and I know in doing that I would have no regrets. Um, it was one of these things where I remember after my rookie year, um, Jeremy Shockey took me out to eat, and uh, he told me, you know, this is, this is going to be your team now. And I was like, what? <laughs> you know, I, I, I don't think I'd played more than 40 snaps in a game before then. Um, you know, so that's one of the reasons I became a pilot. You know, I went right to flight school a week later to stay focused, you know, so that I wasn't, you know, on vacations. You know, I was just working out and going to flight school. It just helped me to, you know, have a reason to stay sharp and to not, you know, you know, do all the other dumb stuff you can do whenever you live in Miami. So I've been doing that for a decade now. And, and uh you know, the next year ended up being all pro. So, so I think a lot of it was um, really the people around me who helped me get there. You know, uh, guys like uh, Drew Brees. You know, uh, guys like Sean Payton. You know, who saw a lot in me when I was pretty raw. Um, and then, you know, obviously, you know, just a, a a extreme focus and dedication, and you know, that has you know really controlled my life for a long time. So, so you know, I know in the end, you know, I'll have no regrets because. You know, I've sacri- you know, I haven't been on vacation in seven years. You know, I, 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 I truly have sacrificed everything. And, and um, I know on my Instagram, everybody sees me flying a lot. Um, but that's, that's, um, that's no light affair. And uh, the rest of it's all football. Yeah. Cole a- admitted last week that it became hard to focus, that it was tough is the word he used, uh, getting ready for that game against the Lions. As a leader in that room what, and on the team, what was your role in kind of refocusing and uh, it seemed like that's what Wednesday was really all about with George McCaskey talking to you guys. How did that all play out for you? Yeah, uh, you know, obviously uh, pretty special, um, you know, when you have uh, ownership come down and, and address the team and, and talk about, um, you know, what's real and what's not, you know, especially when, you know, 
the team is a very young team, so you know at times can can maybe be distracted here and there. You know, I'm um, you know I'm pretty set in my routine, and I don't I don't really read anything that that anybody writes. Um, uh, and and so you know I I was very impressionable upon, impressionable upon that, and and understood how special that was because that's that's not normal. And and um, you know we really appreciated that going into uh, such an environment as Thursday, and and. Um, you know, m myself was really just, you know, making sure that my guys were focused, you know, and, and making sure that my guys, you know, understood what type of game this was going to be, you know, for the Lions. You know, I mean, it was going to be, you know, a playoff Super Bowl game for them and, and that they were going to, you know, play the game hard and, and come downhill and hit people in the mouth. So um, just making sure that we all knew what it was about and 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 ready to go. Um, and, you know, Andy was a big part of that as well. You know, I mean, I remember Andy said, um, you know, uh, you know, he came to the guys um, in my room and said, hey, let's bring the juice early in the game. Um, let's bring the juice in warm-ups even, you know, making sure that, you know, guys are ready and guys, you know, understood what this is about. You mentioned um, when Mike McCarthy got let go in the yeah. season when you were there. Mm -hmm. If I remember right, I think the first game was here, actually, against the Bears. Um, anyway, just what was that experience like having to go through that mid-season? What kind of effect did that have? Yeah, well, um, that was actually uh, the first game was uh, in Lambeau, and that's when Aaron did, had, did the whole thing at halftime and then came out and scored all his points. Um, I uh, I never experienced it, obviously. You know, it, I, you know, it was my first year there, so you know, it, yeah, they've been together, I believe, about 16 years or something like that. And um, one of my reasons for going there, besides Aaron, was you know because they had all been together so long, so I saw stability in that and uh, was chasing all that, and and you know ended up being not so within ten uh, within 10 games. So. Um, you know, it was it, it was obviously di uh, difficult. You know, I ended up getting hurt as well, kind of that tenth game, and um, you know, shattered my thumb in three pieces. So had to make a decision to keep playing or or uh, not. And and uh, you know, I had to because that's just you know the idiot that I am. So you know, I was out there with a cast plan, but uh, um, yeah, it was not great. Thanks, Thank you.